What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy. I know it's been a while. I apologize. Uh, a lot's been happening in life. So I go back to college this week actually and have some interesting hybrid of online class and regular class. And then while that was all happening, my brother switched plans. He was supposed to go out to LA to pursue music and he decided to go to New York City instead. And I'm moving to Charlotte, North Carolina at the end of this semester with my girlfriend. So naturally, uh, what happened next? My parents decided, all right, if you two are both moving back east again, we are as well, and they're going to kind of figure out where they're going to go. They don't entirely know yet, but we put our house on the market for sale. So a lot's been happening. We're trying to get the house ready and prepared for that. Now we're here. Time to make a video, which is how to build a paid membership website on Wix, but in particular, building a members area for your membership uh, clients, membership students, or just plain out members for your website. Without further ado, we're going to jump into today's video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Perfect time to jump into this awesome Wix Nation community. We are strong, we are bonded together, and we are excited to build great things here in Wix. <laughs> All right, so we're here in our editor. If you remember correctly, going back in the paid membership series, we had already created our paid plan. I show you how to make uh, like the member permissions pages and I'll kind of go more into depth in that. And then I also showed you how to cancel plans, manage your members, do that whole good stuff. So as far as building a members area, what you're gonna do first and foremost is you're gonna add a page to your site. Um, and we'll just name it members area okay and then one of the first things you're gonna to want to do depending on how your site works typically you're gonna have like a public facing site with your sales page or whatever that might look like to get people to become members and then everything with your membership uh, page wise is likely gonna be hidden because it's gonna kinda of be in the back end that's members only access so what we're gonna do first and foremost is we're gonna to go to settings and we're going to um, excuse me, hide this page from the menu. So that way people can't just access it from the menu. This is just my preference. You can keep it active if, active if you'd like. Once we do that, what we have to do is we have to go back to these three dots and we have to go to settings. Then we must go to permissions and we have to click members only. Now here's where you can get a little bit more sophisticated, which is nice. You may have multiple different membership tiers. If that's the case, for you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create one main members area page for each of those tiers because they're all going to have different access and you likely have different content on different membership tiers. So you're going to want to structure the pages different. So naturally, you're going to want to create multiple different pages for each of those members areas. So I'm doing just one because we created one plan and what you can do is when you click members only, you can actually come here and instead of clicking all members, since you have different membership tiers with different content, you can click only selected members or paying customers. From this point, you can select from your member roles. Right now, the only actual member role we have is admins. However, you do have a pricing plan that you built that your member had subscribed to. In this case, it was the Ruby membership. And then you would click apply. So now what happens is, anyone that tries to go to this page in particular, this members area, if they are a Ruby member, they will be able to sign in with their membership information and then they'll have access to this page because Wix, your site, recognizes that they are a paying Ruby member because under their account they paid to be a Ruby member. However, anyone who tries to click on this page will be prompted to sign in. If they are not a Ruby member, they do not get access to this page even after signing in. They'll be prompt to get a Ruby membership to be able to access this page. That's how setting up your members area works. Now when it comes to building your members area, which is kind of what I was going to explain in this video, uh, is it's really personal preference. 
What you need to do is likely you've been a member on some other membership site before and you've had a main members dashboard, a main members area. When architecting your initial members area, what you want to think about is you want to think about number one, navigation. So what type of navigation, what type of other pages are you going to give access to that Ruby membership? Are they going to have multiple different pages? Will there be a Ruby forum? Will there be a Ruby blog? Where there will be a, a Ruby, um, you know, like uh, upload and share pictures type of thing? You know, what is going to be included? And what you'll want to do is you'll want to create internal navigation on that page. The way I like to do this is through buttons. So I don't go and add a whole new menu because this menu is defaulted to your main page menu, not any other menu. So the way I like to do it is when I'm building out a members area and you can choose how uh, you want the button to look. I like to go up to button and then even if you just press this plain text button, I like to create a little row of buttons that will take each member to the respective page in the members area because essentially what I'm saying here is you've got your main site menu that's typically on your website homepage right however your members area is different your members area is secret if you will which means it's not going to be listed on your main website menu which means you need to create a sub menu uh, architected of however you'd like again I like to use buttons even just these plain text buttons and then build a menu section in the members area which is I like to also consider the members dashboard where they can access all of the data they need at a quick glance and just a quick click away and this is also where I would have you know some content pieces if the members get access to certain content I would also build out like a um, just different news portions if you've got any upcoming news within your membership or um, information to access their profile that's what I would build out here in the members area but ultimately what I wanted to show you was how to get it started and that is making sure that your page is number one member locked and that it corresponds with the correct membership tier and if you've only got one tier perfect then you only need to build out really one members area and if you decide that you want to keep that same design for each tier after you've already built out your members area which by the way I'm not going to show you actually how to build out your members area that is for you to decide you need to decide what type of content you want on your members area Think of this though, and this is where I want you to start imagining as this is your main member dashboard. When someone signs in, they go to this page and that's what they first see as a member of your site. So think about what type of content, what type of elements you would like to see on those pages and then that's what you build out. But for instance, let's just say you have a Ruby uh, membership tier and you've got a platinum membership tier, but you don't wanna have to go redesign a whole new page for the platinum membership tier and you like the Ruby Platinum membership tier design but you just want to change the content the best way to do that is go to these three buttons click duplicate and bam once again you've got the same exact replica of the Ruby membership tier page but now just change the content out change the navigation to fit your platinum members however that's gonna look and do this down the line for all of your members and then create each sub pages for your members and you could get as sophisticated as you would like with building out your members areas and what type of content you're gonna deliver and how you're gonna deliver it but it all starts from this basic framework understanding that you need to make sure each page is member locked and for instance now that we duplicated this page what we want to make sure we do is we go back here we go to settings we go to permissions and we choose only selected members and then this time if we had a platinum membership we would want to click platinum membership so that way only platinum members get access to the platinum membership area and that's how that works and that's the basic framework of this so if this video helped you out I would kindly ask that you drop a like down below comment if you've got any questions whatsoever and make sure to hit that subscribe button turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any content here on the channel and you'll instantly plug into the largest Wix training community on the internet it's a beautiful place to be and I'd love to have you part of it I'm excited to see you here more often I appreciate you watching the video 
And I hope that gives you a little update as to where I've been as well. Thank you guys again. Catch you on our next one.